It all begs the question, have you locked down your social media accounts? This may be the perfect time to do that. Peter Bernard is on the night beat for us in Largo tonight. Hi there, Jen. It's a sad fact of life. Hackers are out there ready to invade your privacy, steal from your bank accounts, or perhaps even steal your identity. I'm super paranoid about my information being out there. She should be. In recent weeks, the discovery that a company called Cambridge Analytica used Facebook data to help the Trump campaign could be the tip of the iceberg. How many veterans do I Cybersecurity have? expert Colonel John Berger, formerly with U.S. Central Command, told this group at the SPC no, Seminole Campus, uh, be careful what you post. I think the planning assumption for most people ought to be that uh, if they put something out there, it may show up in some un unintended places. You don't have to tell that to SPC student Zoe Gamble. I don't have too many concerns, honestly, because I don't post anything that I don't think should be public. So I keep things private that should be private. This couple is off the radar entirely when it comes to social media. There are millions of people who have been burned by this thing. Mm -hmm. And so I figure if everybody's been burned by it, why should I get it? Why not Facebook? Because I'm worried about the security of it. You could read all those terms of use agreements, but come on, who really does that? Not those who gave Facebook their info. Right, I don't think any of the friends of the friends would have thought that their, uh, that their likes and all the things that, that, that came with that data would have been used in any way at all. All right, so here's an idea you can use right now. You can go to your Facebook settings and turn off any sharing. Just stop it right now. And if you want some more tips, you can go to our website, WFLA.com. There's some good information down there that you can lock down your privacy. By the way, I did that tonight on the Facebook account, and it's good to know I'm not sharing with everyone in the world. Live in Pinellas County, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.